All right, Pisces, we're diving into your love reading for November and uh, we're going to pull you some guidance from the Romance Angel Oracle and we'll speak to whatever energies come out in terms of singles, new love, couples, those of you separated from someone. Dive deeper into it, yeah? Don't forget, if you enjoy my readings, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell to make sure you get the rest of my videos. Mm -hmm. What does a Pisces need to know in November about love? Oh. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of passion and chemistry. So you can be meeting somebody that uh, you have a, a lot of chemistry going off. It can mean in the relationship that you're currently in. Oh, and you've got the message, it's safe, you love to open your heart up to love. Or despite what's happened in the past, Pisces, Spirit's saying be open to the love coming your way. Oh, you've also got the honeymoon cards. So some of you may be physically going on a honeymoon. Uh, you may put it off on a bit of a delay with the COVID stuff going on. It can be that just spend some holiday time together, getting away from it all. You might be planning a holiday. You've also got children are a factor in your love life, so you may need to take children into account. Uh, they could be a bit of a stressor. Could mean that you need someone to look after your kitties so that you go on a holiday. Oh, you've also got confirmation that, yes, this is your soulmate. So someone you're definitely connecting with, a very passionate love. Yeah. It certainly mean you've had a past life relationship before. Okay, you've also got unrequited love here, not enough chemistry attraction to keep this connection going. So there could be a couple of connections in your life. Um, you know, there's certainly a passionate one which kind of goes against this message here so some of you will be going through a situation where there's an unrequited love situation in your life spirit saying just not that way my darling yeah mm -hmm. and for those of you with the message resonates safe your love spirit saying to work on that partnership yeah give it a chance oh singles you got the message get your flirt on extend that light-hearted energy to others So what's shelling through here is we've got new love, we've got singles, and we've got partnerships, yeah, committed partnerships. Okay. You've also got deception here. Yes, yeah, someone's wearing a false mask in this relationship. So just watch the intentions of others who you're connecting with. Oh, and sitting under soulmate, confirmation, past life relationship, yeah, knowing each other before. Mm-hmm. All right, let's put you some guidance with the Angel Answers Oracle. Anything else Pisces needs to know about love here? Okay, you've got recovery here. So some of you are going through health recovery or the person you're connecting with is going through health recovery. And Spirit's saying there's no need to worry. For those of you where you're working on a partnership or Spirit saying that, you know, you're connecting with someone, whether it's new or whether it's, uh, you're in a committed partnership. And you've got the message is up to you, directly related to those about getting your flirt on, going on a honeymoon, um, and feeling like you're ready to put yourself out there for love. Um, and there's a great big fat yes related to children and deception. Why is there a yes here? Which could just confirm deception going on. Oh, spirit saying let go. So some of you are in situations that are not worth your time or your energy, yeah? Any other guidance there? Oh, spirit saying you need to get more information. So there's going to be more revealed to you. Let's have a look at this soulmate connection. Oh, you got the message meditation won't bring you the answers, particularly if you're asking that question, am I with my soulmate? Any other guidance there? It can also relate to those of you where you feel like there might be a bit of deception going on in your love life. Oh, there's this coming together in the near future with this beautiful soulmate. So some of you are with a soulmate. Some of you are drawing one to you. Okay, let's dive deeper, my love. So we've definitely got new love here. So let's have a look at that. Oh, 
guidance for those of you and you love connections oh it's new but i have this special feeling about you directly related to those in a very passionate connection and we fit together like we're always meant to be oh hello boom boom that's for those of you with a soulmate for sure oh singles darlings let's have a look at you where you've got this unrequited going on spirit saying get your flirt on some of you going through health recovery Single and ready to mingle. Oh, hello. Well, darlings, get your flirt on, spirit saying. Just don't get held back by unrequited love situations, yeah? Oh, some of you got the mess to take the time to heal. You're not ready yet. So some of you definitely going through health recovery. And someone's caught your eye. Will you let them know? Which is getting your flirty flirt on. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. All right. Those of you in committed partnerships where you're part of a couple, Planning a honeymoon, children might be a little bit of an issue right now. <laughs> oh, I love you more than you could possibly know. Trust me. So some of you may be worrying about deception. And we're fine. I just need some time for my friends and my interests. So some of you overthinking things in that department. Uh, you just need to give them a little bit of space, darlings. Yes. <laughs> uh, let's get to the heart of the matter. Firstly, for... Um, Singles where you've got this unrequited love situation. Oh, I lost the love of my life so no one else will hold that space. So you may be connecting with somebody who is a bit closed off emotionally. And run hot and cold so you have no idea where you stand. Well, that will do your head in, my darlings. <laughs> it will. Yes. <laughs> And the other message you've got is I chase and try and control when communication slows down. So um, that could bring some insecurities up within you. So, darlings, if this person's not that keen, um, spirit saying there's probably going to be something better out there for you. And yeah? they're not emotionally very open. It's not you, my loves. It's not you. Couples, let's get to the heart of the matter. Anything you need to know here? very noisy crow out there at the moment oh there's some intimacy issues and you need to reconnect on that level spirit saying and create a safe space for communication so don't push things really hard if there's somebody's just may not be expressing the fact that, that everything's fine they just need some time for their friends and interests allow them that yeah and pretending everything's okay but feeling resentful that could be you that could be them there needs to be an opening of heart-to-heart -heart communication. All right, let's have a look at relationship influences, firstly for new love, which is looking very good. Oh, Spirit's saying to wait. Oh, hello. What do you need to wait for? Oh, it's saying to spend some time with your friends, so don't rush into it. There might be some timing issues going on in this new connection, or they may be spending time with their friends oh there's perfect timing going on in that connection all right singles oh there's some forgiveness that needs to be applied here just maybe to that person to release yourself from the connection maybe to the past yeah, there's third party stuff going on there so that might be the deception with the unrequited not the only one in their life and money was an issue or a focus there all right couples well, someone in this connection needs to heal the masculine. So you, you may be applying too much control to a situation or they may be or somebody next needs to step into their empowerment and speak their truth, yeah. Oh, and Spirit's saying there's something better. So some of you are feeling like there's something better and Spirit's saying there's not a lot wrong here. You just need to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation and there's some emotional healing that needs to happen between the two of you or within one person or the other probably both i'd say all right let's pull some guidance around love attributes so this can be your love language uh your other person's love language what's important to you in a connection firstly for new love here whisper it saying it's a beautiful connection there's some timing things going on oh children have come out here again so children may be a factor here. Um, one of you is very independent or likes your independence or you're both independent. And touch is important in this connection or to the person you're connecting with. All right, singles where there's a bit of a 
<sighs> unrequited going on oh you love your quiet time or this person that you're connecting with needs their quiet time and uh someone was a bit pessimistic i'd suggest possibly the other person pisces about love they're a bit closed off for sure and intimacy so they may have been looking just for intimacy and that was it uh okay let's have a look at couples here uh, status and prestige is important to one or both of you and so is appearances so there's a lot going on there that's on the surface and not diving very deep i've got to say mm -hmm. and somebody craves their freedom dare i say it might be a partner needs a little bit of freedom pisces or you mostly them i think you need to give them a little bit of space all right let's put some guidance from the whispers of love oracle firstly for uh, this beautiful new love here which is looking pretty good some perfect timing going on oh well that just flew out oh you got the message to be in the present but dream of the future so having a lot of hope and faith in the future um spirit saying when we dream everything is possible well oh, that's gorgeous energy all right singles oh you got the message to spend some quality time together and talk to each other um may not be possible if they've already run off but it could be just in terms of people that you're meeting just to spend some quality time together all right couples oh you got the message to express your love through gifts so a small token of love can convey great appreciation so one of you, your love languages you like to receive things you've got to, got to figure out if that's you or them you could certainly light them up a bit all right let's put you some guidance from the lovers oracle first up this new love connection here where there's some timing going on oh have a look at this very reflective and relaxing it says it's important right now to take a step back and spend some quiet time alone instead of placing your focus on another now now is time to give to yourself very good guidance pisces particularly in terms of your monthly reading is going through a bit of a dark night of the soul right now it's probably a good thing to do all right singles oh. There's a lot here in terms of your intuition going off here. Yeah? It says deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right for you mm -hmm, with that connection. All right, this is for couples and there's a lot of love going on here. It says when it comes to matters of the heart, there's no right or wrong choice. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. So whatever you're going through right now is going to create a beautiful sense of growth within you, maybe in the relationship. All right, my loves, those are your messages. Love to your feedback, your comments down below. Reach out for a personal reading if you feel like you need extra guidance and support. Link is on here as well as down below. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Um, you'll also notice your playlist is here, so there's other videos you want to check out. I'll pop in the inspirational playlist, actually. There might be some stuff you want to check out there. All right. Make sure to come back again for your mid-months. Take it easy, my loves, for now. Much love, much light. Namaste.